All right, thank you very much. I'm the I'm the investor of Zimbabwe. My name is uh, Ngobizi Damlambo, a citizen journalist. I'm at the university with the students, Komiza, Comrade Treasure Basopo, and a student of economics. How are you, Comrade Basopo? Oh, let me say revolutionary greetings in the language of the students union. Revolutionary greetings to you, uh, comrades from the fourth estate and the country at large. How are you, comrade? <laughs> no, I'm doing very How is the investor of Zimbabwe? The investor of Zimbabwe is, 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 is critically good, all is well, I can't complain, resistance. Thank you very much. My first question to you, comrade Basopo, is it's almost uh, three weeks after you led one of the biggest demonstrations in the history of the investor of Zimbabwe since the 1990 demonstrations against corruption by Adam Tambara and other comrades. My question to you is, have you managed to realize your gains after your march? Oh yeah, 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 quite, quite. We have made uh, some critical steps in terms of moving towards what we've been fighting for. Actually, what were you fighting for? We've been fighting for the withdrawal of uh, Dr. Grace Mugabe's uh, PhD. We've been fighting for. It's actually surprising that you call it Dr. Grace Mugabe, but you said you were fighting for uh, the removal of the PhD. No, so, are you saying you recognize the title, but you want the PhD to be removed? Investor Zimbabwe is a reputable institution. If they give something, then we fight for it. Before they withdraw, we always give recognition. So, has Grace That's Mugabe's PhD been withdrawn? That's the critical question that the world wants to know. The doctorate has not yet been withdrawn and we are calling for the doctorate to be withdrawn. By who? Because you were saying so when you had 10,000 students in your back. Today you are on your own, you are calling for the same. So what are you saying? Are you contradicting the university yourself? University Council. Yes. The University Senate. Yes. Leva Nyagoro happens to be, the, be the, to be the professor and the vice chancellor. Yes. And the newly appointed uh, Minister of Education. Professor Murphy. Okay. They have a responsibility okay. for them to listen to what the students are saying up until that has been done. We are not going to be quiet. So you say, you are saying there are going to be more demonstrations at the investors in Zimbabwe come next semester? Well, there's going to be a lot of noise. There's going to be a lot of political higiaga up until what one has been done. So you are saying you are going to continue with the struggle? It's a luta continue? Yes, of course. Like what Samora Masha would say, in Mozambique, that the struggle in Zimbabwe is a struggle. A luta continue. For us to be students, the struggle with the investors in Zimbabwe is our struggle. The struggle continues up until our demands have been met. All right. oh, what, what were, were your other demands when you were demonstrating? I, I, I think it wasn't only to do with Grace Mugabe. Obviously, I saw placards. We said Leva Nyagura must go, Munyaradzi Madambi must go. Well, the investors of Zimbabwe Amendment Act must be repealed of 1990. How are you going to make sure that these demands are realized? There, there, there are myriad of issues okay. that are bedeviling the students, community and students society. I think we have always been talking of the capturing of institutions. This was an administrative, uh, mal, uh, mal, mal administrative uh, cause which has been causing a lot of inefficiency in the students' community. Okay. Also, the issues to the ordinance that I think one of the greatest evils to, to, to the students right now is the ordinance. Why that, don't you want ordinance? The the ordinance because from my understanding, is, from my reading, ordinance that is a, has to everything to do with student conduct and behavior. So you want it repealed so that students can be vagabonds on campus, people can beat up each other, no. people can be violent. What do, don't you want about ordinance that comrade? The Zimbabwean constitution that our people voted for on the 16th of March 2018. Yes. Section 1 of that constitution says that this is the supreme law of the land. Yes. Any other law, practice, mm. Which is inconsistent. Oh, yes. This law is, 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 is actually inconsistent to the extent of how that law is diverting right. from what the law, the constitution is saying. All so right. you recognize the supremacy of the constitution. Okay. The ordinance that has nothing to do with the, the constitution of the So you are challenging the constitutionality of ordinance state. So if you approach the constitutional court, if you made the constitutional court application through the Zimbabwe Lawyers for Human Rights and Students, to have ordinance that is scraped off, because you cannot have an ordinance that is scraped off by merely demonstrating look, there are procedures that should be followed in the course of law. No, comrade, look, the first thing, we are not senators, we are not parliamentarians, we are not uh, in any position of authority. But there what are equally have, systems that you can use. What we have managed to do so far is to approach the, the last, 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 um, last semester. I personally went to the parliamentary portfolio committee on higher education. Yes. With, together, with and what was the outcome? And then, uh, SRC. Mm. I told the chairperson together the comrades I hate that ordinance 13 is the greatest thorn in the flesh of the students they promise to deliver but this is an issue which has been in their domain for the past three years but they've been sitting on the issue nothing has nothing has been done so strategically comrade Basopo you call yourself the student commissar yes. the commissariat mobilizes are you saying you are going again to mobilize students this time to go to parliament and demonstrate so that ordinance state is repealed. There are a lot of political tools which are at our disposal. One of them which has been the demonstration, mm. mostly recently revoked. Okay. It's not even the strongest. There are a lot of other stronger tools that you okay. can use. There are a lot of other weaker tools. It just differs with the environment. Thank you, Existence. thank you. So you are going ahead with the fight for ordinance state to be repealed? Yes, absolutely. You're going to be fighting. Up and you are, are you, what are you assuring students? Well, what time frame are you giving to students that by this date, Ordinance 30 should be gone. Sure you cannot be on one issue for four years. 
I'm not only assuring students, but I'm assuring each and every peace-loving one, each and every uh, constitutionally a person who respects the constitution, the constitution in this country, any person, including our parents, that ordinance state is going to be gone by June next year. Okay, I will go to my next question, Comrade Treasure. What's your comment with the appointment of Professor Murwira as the new Minister of Higher Teacher Education? Well, I think uh, it, it, it was a necessary step considering that Jonathan was a lutist to the BPS of the students' affairs. And okay. that man has been repealed and removed. I but guess you are you're making reference to the ZIMDF scandal. <laughs> Definitely. Was his so, as students, you welcome the appointment of Professor Murwira by President Mnangagwa. I appreciate it. I think we are going to be working together. And wha what message are you, do you want to send to him now if, uh, if Professor Murwira will listen to this video? No, Professor Murwira, we, we expect you to have an, an, an open job approach. The students, luckily, you have been at the University of Zimbabwe. You know the struggles that the students are fighting. You know that they are they, legitimate struggles. The students, they have genuine cause. And we want your office to be able to accommodate the students and listen to what you are saying. Okay, basically, in under two minutes, what are your, your expectations, your demands to the new Minister of Higher Teacher Education? What do you really student, you know, what students all, want? I, I always refer to the Constitution. I think Section 75 of the Zimbabwe Constitution is very clear. Okay. We need the right to education, which is state funded. All so right. At least up to. to, to when you say state funded, you are saying you want free education. What do you, are you, do you want, want grants? Education. Do you want loans? What do you want? No, we presented recently a paper to parliament on how Zimbabwe can come up with a free education through the use of... Economy. Is it sustainable? Because no. the government yeah, itself yeah. is now suffering from this that very paper. system this of is a grants. This that was done by economic students at the University of Zimbabwe through an association called Economic Students in Zimbabwe. Okay. Which is led by people like Maurice, the Abishas, a lot of other guys who are brilliant. Mm. So they came up with a paper, a position paper, which, wow. I, which was regressed. Seriously, so in short, really how do you expect uh, free education to be funded? You know, we'll first Considering the current fiscal we'll first crisis in Zimbabwe is facing. We need to first corruption, we need to first obliterate illicit financial flows. Let's first run this country from a very objective position mm -hmm. and from a very efficient one. Okay. Whereby there is no money which is going to be used for self-aggrandizement, corruption, etc. Okay. The moment we manage to do that, let's boost our industries. Let's make that, let's assure our economy to have a, 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 economy, a, a GDP which is going to be growing and all that the moment you manage to have a, a big economy in terms of fiscal fiscal leg group mm. can be able to accommodate education because an educated nation is a nation which is going to be oh, thank you very much I like your point of the of an educated nation thank you very much uh, brother Basopo going forward what do you think is the role of the students in the current new political dispensation that president Mnangagwa has well, I think uh, this government, if it wants to be successful, it has to be inclusive. By okay. any means necessary or necessary. The students, they are critical. How inclusive do you want it to be? Yeah, the students, they are critical, but simply because they come from a pool of 67%, which are the youth. Okay. So these guys, secondly, they are uh, uh, at least in academic. They, they are the academia, but they are academia without cash. So what that means, what that means is that if these guys, they don't have cash, they, but they have the knowledge, they are able to decompose a critical and sophisticated information that is quite academic. Then they, they so are you saying you are prepared to work with the government of President Munangago and not uh, the veteran opposition that you have been aligned to? No, we have always been uh, proactive. Okay. Uh, we, we work with each and every progressive person. Okay. Our agenda so are you saying President Munangago is progressive? Our agenda is not to criticize, but to work with people who are progressive. So if Nangaba wants to be progressive and if he shows the nation that is progressive, there's nothing wrong. We can work with him to achieve the students' goals. What's your comment the students? Because students all over are known as the vanguard of democracy. Do you think President Mnangagwa is prepared to embrace democratic pluralism in Zimbabwe or we are going to follow the Chinese model of having a serious economic boom but while at the same time the human rights and uh, democratic dividends are trumped upon? I think it's, it's, it's quite premature for us to make such a, 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 a what you call it, an analysis which is very much empowered by confidence. We cannot be confident about I think this just tweaks into the New Zimbabwe. We yet to see, uh, and we conclude that as time moves. But as it appears momentarily, the appointment of people like Murwira, uh, also some other things like recently uh, Chinamasa produced. Do you that. think President Nangagwa is a Democrat? President Nangagwa has been working with the despot, so you don't know if he is dependent. I'm a Christian myself. I know that a person can be a Satanist, but tomorrow morning he can be a Christian after being converted. So in this case, uh, President So the students will continue to call for democratization? Absolutely. Democracy is the pillar. Okay, 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 okay. Thank you. I love, I love the ideas that you're raising. Well, obviously, going forward, what is your message to the broader student fraternity with regards to voter registration, voter participation? What's your comment? Uh, we are always uh, given that space to participate in elections. We as 
can no, no, beat as no, no, candidates no, 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 or as voters. But in this case, we are saying students go and register to vote, go and register to participate as councillors, as MPs, go and participate in any way because we believe that inclusion is the way to go. We can't run a country without including the people in the parliament. Well, thank you very much for, for your time, Comrade Basopo. Your final words to the people of Zimbabwe, the students of Zimbabwe, Africa, and the world at large. Well, I will say that the struggle continues. A lot of controversy, a lot of continuity. We are going to fight up until what you want to achieve has been achieved. We are never going to see stopping. We are going to make sure that what the students are saying is going to be heard, not just at institutional levels, but at the national, regional, and international level. Thank you very much. Thank you, Kato. My, uh, this has been an interview with Comrade Treasure Basopo, the students commissar. Yes, it's actually recording. My name is Mubisi Jamlambo, reporting from the University of Zimbabwe. Thank you very much.